Your chances of actually keeping all of your New Year's resolutions is 25%. That's one in four people. Now, there are many reasons for this failure, but one reason that I've personally not kept my resolutions is that I didn't set up a system to track them. Here's how I'm doing just that in Obsidian for my goals in 2022. A colleague of mine at Grafana, Marcus Olson, wrote an excellent blog post about how he tracks OKRs in Obsidian, and that was the inspiration for this video. So check out the link in the description below to also read his blog post. My system has been tweaked slightly from his system just to make it fit into my needs a, a little bit better. My system has five different levels depending on the broadness of the perspective of my life that each level encompasses. So the first level is core principles, and then we've got yearly OKRs, monthly initiatives, weekly goals, and finally, daily tasks. I have a separate page in Obsidian for my core principles, and this is always changing. They're being renamed and merged and added to, but the point is that these are guiding principles in my life. So when faced with a decision whether to do one thing or another, I review these core principles to remind myself what it is that I, as a person, have identified to be of crucial importance. They are essential to who I am. You can see here that I've got learning in public, improvement, essentialism, honesty, open-mindedness, hard work, creativity, and kindness. And for each one, I've also added a little description of what it is, what it looks like when I'm practicing this principle, and what it looks like when I'm not practicing it. This is the foundation for everything that I do in my life. Every yearly OKR or initiative or task or goal has to be related to something on this page because if it's not, then maybe I shouldn't be doing it. The second level is yearly OKRs. I have a page in Obsidian that tracks five different objectives that I've decided I want to do this year. Five is a pretty arbitrary number. You choose the number that's right for you, but I just have found that when I have more than five, I end up forgetting what I said that I would do. So five is like really manageable for me at least. And here's what that looks like. Just for consistency, I've created a template for this and that's using the template its core plugin. So I've also got that hotkeyed, which is right now it's command semicolon. So I do that and I can bring up all my templates and I just type in yearly OKRs. And this is what I fill out every year. So if you want to have a look at the template, this is what it actually looks like. So it always brings in today's date. Okay, so I have three different categories here, work, health, and wealth. I can really change that to whatever, but it just jogs my memory on what I need to think about. You may notice that I don't have a personal category. That's because I kind of put that under work as well. I don't often make the distinction in my life in general between work and personal because I think it's all work and it's all personal and so I've done the same thing here. Work is anything including my career but it could also just mean self-improvement for me. I'm not actually going to be showing you my yearly OKRs because that's a little bit private but I'm just walking you through a demo of how I've set it up. So now, once I have my yearly OKRs page, I use a plugin called QuickAd, which is right now also hotkeyed to command apostrophe, and that adds an objective to this page. I'll say maybe learn a language. So this QuickAd plugin, which is a community plugin, does a few things. First, it adds in something according to the template that I had, which was the year and zero zero. And that's just how I delineate objectives. In addition to that, it also creates this page. So if I click on it, it's already been pre-populated with a different template. So that's actually the objective, yearly objective template, but the quick add plugin was just a really easy way to do it from there. Then I would fill in the key results. So if I want to learn a language, well, what is that exactly? Let's say that, uh, let's, let's change this and I'll say Portuguese. What are the key results for this? Well, I could say, um, pass a DLC one 
exam for it. One of the things that distinguishes an OKR from a resolution is that there is a clear way to decide whether or not you've actually met it. So in this case, a bad example would be speak Portuguese fluently because what does that mean exactly and who gets to decide whether you speak fluently or not. A better key result is passing an exam or take 30 lessons of Portuguese. Maybe something that's a little bit more social. So have a 10 minute conversation in Portuguese without resorting to English, to another language. Clear goals that I know I can meet. What are the values that are related? Well, I can bring up my core principles and go through them. Maybe learning in public because maybe I want to blog about my struggles in Portuguese. Copy that. Definitely improvement as well because that's, that's still self-improvement. And I actually think that every language helps with open-mindedness because you're learning somebody else's culture along with the language. I'm also thinking about specific things that I could do on a monthly level to make it happen. Find a teacher on italki for Portuguese. That's one initiative that'll probably take more than an action. Because I'd have to find a few teachers and, and decide on which one I want to continue with. Some other initiatives might be look for Portuguese YouTubers, find a good Portuguese TV show on Netflix, read The Little Prince in Portuguese. So this just gives me a list of ideas of smaller chunks that I can do to work towards this objective. Now the third level is monthly initiatives, which is exactly what I was trying to generate ideas for. And many people do, I think Marcus Olson does a quarterly view of it, but I find that three months is, I don't know, it's just too much time for me to really grasp and I work better within smaller times. So I've chosen to do monthly initiatives rather than quarterly ones. I use a plugin called Periodic Notes that manages all my monthly, weekly, and daily note templates. And here I just did the command pane and opened up a monthly note and it automatically creates a new note in the folder that I've specified and in the format that I've specified with this particular template. And from here, I'm going to look at the different OKRs that I already identified and decide on which of these OKRs I'm going to work on for this month. So maybe I'll, I'll choose this Portuguese one and maybe I'll decide that this is one of the objectives that I'm working on for the month. I usually only like to do three monthly initiatives because they're only four weeks and again just trying to simplify a little bit here. The fourth level is weekly goals. At the beginning or end of every week, I have a weekly review of everything that I want to get done that week and also everything that happened in the week before. To do that, I use the calendar plugin, which already has an option to enable these weekly views. And then when I click on it, it's pre-populated with the template that I already use. So it has the weekly review again in the same format and in the right folder with the right dates. And the first thing I've got is an end of week checklist. These are all the small tasks that I really should do at the end of every week so that I start each week fresh. So these are things like getting to inbox zero on my various mailboxes, opening physical mail and restarting my computer and, and that sort of thing, going through my task management system, doing financial reconciliation for different countries and my companies. Um, and then I also have the monthly initiatives. And this is embedded, an embedded block. It's actually taking the monthly initiatives. So if I go and scroll up here a bit, so this takes and embeds the content from this note. So this is what I was writing earlier and it takes it, it in, it pulls it into the weekly review so that while I'm doing things, I remember, oh yes, this is what I said I wanted to get done this month. 
And then I go over what happened last week. What were my goals last week and did I finish them? What am I changing so that I can do them this month? So this is more of reflections and it forces me to think about what I could do better from the previous week. And then I write down three goals that I want to do this week. These questions help me keep my focus on the monthly initiatives, the yearly OKRs, and the core principles behind them. So just to see this through, maybe based on the fact that my monthly initiative would be to find a teacher, maybe what I wanna get done this week is book a lesson with three teachers on italki. And then we'll say there are two more that, that I'd like to get done. The fifth and last level is the daily tasks, because it doesn't matter what objectives I've set. If I don't have it in front of me every day, then I'm probably going to forget about it, which is what has happened with my previous New Year's resolutions. So for that, I enable the daily note core plugin in Obsidian, which creates a note for every day and it creates it according to a template that I specify. This is the daily template, so it's automatically taking the local date from the local language. So let's look at today's daily note. Here's what it looks like with all the fields set. I've got the Dutch language chosen, so that's why the data is displaying in Dutch. And if I flip to preview mode, we'll see that I'm also embedding the three goals that I have in my weekly review note. So I've got this health section as well because I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of my health. And then I have a section for frogs with a link to my tasks list of the three things that I want to get done today. Then there's a log which I during the day will fill out with whatever I'm working on or it's this is like my scratch pad for the day. And then I end with a review. I am definitely not saying that everybody should do it like this. This is just what I'm doing because I know myself and I know my previous failures and I think the system addresses issues that I've had in the past. Firstly, it's automated, so I don't have to think about the format that my notes have to be named in or the method that I already agreed on. It just is populated for me using the templates and the periodic notes plugins. Secondly, it's not overly complex because after the initial setup, things just happen for me and five OKRs per year is not a lot to keep track of. And thirdly, they keep my core principles front of mind at all times. Everything is linked. This is kind of like in testing how you always want to link back to a non-functional requirement or something like that. It is making sure that everything that you're doing still revolves around things that you hold dear. Now you may have noticed that one thing the system doesn't cover is content and the tasks I need to do to create stuff. That's because I already kind of made a video on that and that's here, so check that out for more details. Thanks for watching and happy 2022!